congratulations on taking the first steps. We are going to start with the very foundational movements that we use here at Cherry Bomb and online in our online training. The three basic shapes and movements that we use are the squat, which would be getting up off of a chair, going to the washroom every day, the press, which would be taking something and putting it overhead into, say, an overhead compartment. We also press this way too, getting up off the ground. And then the third shape is going to be a hinge, which is picking something up off the ground. So week one, we're going to go over the very basics, those three moves. Week two, we're going to add weight to those movements. Week three, we're going to start combining some of those movements, and you'll see what I mean by that in week three. And week four, we're going to start working on those firecracker, which is a beginner version workout of our training that we do online and here at Cherry Bomb Garage Gym. So let's first start day one, week one, with a squat. Then we're going to follow that up by a short little body weight workout that you can do at home. Please let me know how it goes. Be you, be strong, be awesome, be squatting. Let's start with that. The first thing you need to know is that there is no perfect squat. My squat's going to look a little different than your squat. I'm going to give you some general guidelines and you're going to find what works best for you. So you're going to take those feet and go hip width or a little further apart. Your toes can point out a little bit. That's okay. It really depends on how mobile you are. So now plant those heels. Make sure they don't come up. I don't want you coming up into this kind of Michael Jackson thing. So plant those heels and now you're going to push your knees away. Basically, I just don't want your knees caving in. So you're going to take those knees and make sure they're pushing out to either side. So you're spreading the ground through your feet. Then you're going to hinge back. So you're going to take those hips and you're going to go back. Try to keep your chest up as tall as you can. So I'm going to get you to bring your arms up overhead. Tighten your abs. Squeeze your bum. Push those knees out and sit back as if you're searching for a chair behind you. So you can go and you can get a chair if you want. Stand a couple inches away from that chair. Bring your arms up. Belly's going to be tight. Push those knees out because I don't want you caving in. And search for that chair with your bum behind you. When you find it, come back up again. So arms are up, belly tight. Push those knees and search for that chair behind you. Tap and come on up. So practice that a couple of times. These are a couple things that we tend to see when we have newer people coming into the facility. They might cave here. That just means that their hips are probably a little bit tight. You're going to work at trying to get your chest up as high as you can. Imagine there's a line here and you don't want your hands touching that. Just work at keeping that chest up. You might feel some tension in your upper back. Another thing that we tend to see is this, the knees caving in. So work really hard at keeping that butt squeezed. Pushing the knees out. And something else we see is people coming forward like this on their toes. So try to keep those knees tracking over the toes. If you see your knees coming forward and the weight's coming on your toes, reset, heels planted, push those knees out and drop down as best you can. If this is as far as you can go, that's a-okay. So that is the basis of a squat. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a nice short little workout that's going to involve a squat, it's body weight, so you don't have to have any kind of weights. All right, so let's set up for that, grab some water. You can also step it out, step it in.
Knees are out, belly's nice and tight. Don't let those knees cave in. If you don't need a box, that's fine. Pull the plank position. Make sure those feet are nice and wide and tap. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you have to, you can go on your knees. If jumping is too hard on the knees, or ladies, if it makes you pee, I know, you're going to step out. What you're going to do is set a timer for eight minutes, and you're going to go through these movements as many times as you can. I'll do the first round with you. Your first move are up downs. Pop it out, pop it in, stand up. Or step it out, step it in, stand up. That was two. Three. Four. Five. Next move is a squat. So if you need a box, go get a box. Those arms up, belly tight. Thank you. 